And Oprah was impressed, or Angie was impressed. Angie was impressed that uh, when she saw it Oprah that the five happiest countries in the world are socialists. And Angie was so her faintest um, shaking when she wanted me to restore order. And we lose the call. Well, well, somebody obviously did not want me to get Angie's mind right. Would be the FBI Los Angeles office. Who knows, folks? First, they're telling people to call here and listen, and then they do, and then callers with deep intel that nobody else knows about happen to just be disconnected in the middle of their point. What do you say about the 28th? They sit out there to talk about Fox not being real news. And Fox is more uh, an agenda, is more an attitude. Fox is just horrible. Fox is not talk radio. We're going to read a little bit from a book. It's called uh, Washington Merry-Go-Round. It was published July in 1931. When it was the second printing. And it's a review on the Hoover administration. And this part is concerning the press. And the reason I got this page is... Uh, the rats have eaten on this page. It kind of tells me something that there was rats back then, too. <clears throat> in a position to lead in a forthright and independent reporting, these trained seals and others of their kind are the severest critics of those who dare to challenge and to speak out about the facts. Their group consists of one of the most sultrifying influences in American national affairs. The Congressional Death Directory lists some of 360 odd reporters representing more than 300 American dailies, a score of four newspapers, news and news agencies, and the staffs of the four major press associations of the United States, the Associated Press, the United Press, the International News Service, and the Universal News Service, the last two Hearst organizations. These are officially accredited correspondents. To be officially accredited to the Congressional Directory, the correspondent must represent a daily telegraphic newspaper or press association and derive the major portion of his earnings from this source. Official recognition carries with it admission to the two congressional press galleries, the White House press conferences, and the various other department press conferences. In addition to a large group of accredited newspapers and correspondents, there is a numerous group of writers for trade and business publications and press agents of various types. They are not listed in the Congressional Desk Directory, and despite repeated efforts by the trade paper, men have been refused admission to the Congressional Galleries by the newspaper correspondents. Since the incumbency of the President Hoover and business and trade press has been accorded press privileges at the White House, his conferences have been thrown open to them, and no distinction is made between them and the newspaper men. The press galleries and press conferences have either have severe rules against lobbying by reporters, and corpse is unfailingly prompt and summary in ejecting anyone caught in such activities. which is considerably more than can be said for Congress itself, the departments, and the White House. The work and official access it affords offer plenty of opportunities for this sort of secret and lucrative work. But in the last decade, only two men have been compiled to give up their gallery standings because of discovery in such forbidden activities. 
Obama wants the Fox News out of it, though. The congressional galleries are under the immediate direction of the committee chosen annually by the correspondents among their own number. These committees operate under the rules of two chambers of Congress. The corpse is very strict in its rules of admittance. So much so, in fact, that no Negro reporter has yet succeeded in gaining membership there. The several attempts by Negroes representing Negro newspapers to gain as mittens have been sidestepped on a technical ground that the applications did not represent daily telegraphic publications. Such years ago, a Negro reporter for a large Negro publication came to the Capitol and applied for a press gallery membership, just like Fox News today, except they're not a Negro organization. They're a neutral organization. For several weeks, in support of his claims and for admittance, he filed a large quantity of telegraphic copy to his paper every day. But it was no avail. His claim was legitimate, but his collar was wrong. A writer for a group of church publications representing, according to his assertion, several million weekly readers, has also tried repeatedly to gain membership in the galleries, White House and White House press conferences. So far, he has not been successful. He has been particularly anxious and gained admittance to the White House press conferences on several occasions, considerably pressure has been brought to bear to override the hostile attitude of the reporters. In 1924, Coolidge had invariably the crafty, somebody, Baskin Slim Republican chieftain for Virginia to the White House. And this is here, is in 1931, and they wouldn't let Negroes into the press corps of the White House. Kind of like the White House is doing to Fox News, except they must be the new Negro in the Obama administration.